All right, let's continue on our series of vlogs. This is day five coming up. Okay, when we left off yesterday, I was number four on the list while I was waiting at Atlanta Heartland Express. I went ahead and slept. When I got up in the morning, I had nothing. And then at 5.09 Central Standard Time, not long after I got my hours back, my Qualcomm beeped, phone paged. Sure enough, I didn't have a load come through. 5.09 Central Standard Time. Looked at the load, load said I was going to pick up a load in Albany, Georgia, at a place that we pick up loads quite frequently. Been there before, drop and hook, easy. And then I was supposed to take that load to look like Covington, Kentucky, but when I looked at the mileage, something didn't look right because I had 166 empty miles and I had only 215 loaded. So I sent a message for clarification. Turns out I was only to take it to our Cartersville yard where somebody else would be taking it to Covington, Kentucky because the load doesn't deliver right away. It made sense in the end. So it wound up being a 370 mile, 371 mile run. Uh, ran down there, picked the load up without any problem, hauled it up to uh, Cartersville. Took my break at the Cartersville yard, got to use the shower there, and then uh, waited for a load to come through there. All right, when we look at today's map, you'll see I left from Heartland Express, went down to Albany, Georgia, picked up the load, and headed north. Dropped that load at Cartersville. After dropping that load at Cartersville, I took off to pick up my next load, and I wound up at Love's Travel Stop. Doing my walk around, I discovered that the tire on the front left was not holding its pressure. We have automatic inflation system, so I could not check the pressure, but it was not holding its pressure. So I drove across the street to Love's, because they have a tire shop that our company uses, and I called Black River, and they gave them the authorization to replace the tire or fix it as necessary. Turns out they only had to fix the valve so that it was able to self-inflate and get itself back up. But as a result, I ran out of hours while waiting for this repair to be finished. So I will be overnighting at Love's and leave early in the morning for Ohio on a run that I've got. This Ohio run will put me over 3,000. It'll be 3,111 miles when I get it dropped tomorrow for the week. Um, I'm still not quite out of hours. I'm not sure if they'll have anything else for me or if I'll be going to the Trenton Yard to do a reset. Either way, I've got to get a reset in before I can really kick off. But it has been a, definitely been a good week. And during my reset, I hope to work on a video that I'll put together, but it won't get uploaded where I'm going to take all of these and put them into one video instead of a digest. I apologize for the original videos on this being portrait. I got to remember to always keep it landscape filled with screen. Thanks and uh, stay tuned. We'll keep this thing updated. And once I get the pay slip for this as well, I will uh, definitely show that so you can see exactly what these routes paid and how a, an actual week at Millis worked out.